let's make a green energy bowl. I am gonna talk you through this while we get this hot pan going here. We are gonna start with some coconut oil. And I know that we have talked about this in several of the cinema videos here, but what's important about using coconut oil for heat is that we actually do not want uh, to destroy or create any carcinogens from oil. And something like an olive oil that doesn't hold up to heat, we are going to create carcinogens if we let that get too hot. So using something like a grapeseed oil, coconut oil, red palm oil, all great choices that are gonna give you the same sizzle and the same flavor and the same yumminess, but we're not gonna have any health, health risks from heating those. Now we're gonna go ahead and lightly saute these sweet onion, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in some broccoli here. And we're gonna let this get a little bit golden while we get our oak roots out. Now, oak roots are a particularly powerful way to fight cholesterol. And if you've never heard of an oak root before, think oatmeal, but less pasteurized, right? So oatmeal is put through uh, steel mills and rolled flat, and it's steamed before they do that, just to kill off any bacteria that might be there. An oak root is a fully natural, unholed seed from the oat plant. So what I have done here is I have soaked the oak roots overnight, and then I allow them to soften. And if we wanted, we could release the water from those, from those groats and we could plant them, right? We could grow our own tree. They would literally sprout. But instead, we put them into this contraption here, which I will tell you about once I get some of them into the pan. There we go. Now, this is a Vita clay pot. You can use a, a crock pot. You can even slow cook them right on the stove. But what you wanna do is go ahead and cook them nice and slowly because you've gone to the trouble of sprouting the oak roast overnight, uh, which just makes them more digestible. So you might as well cook them nice and slowly so that you get all the nutrient benefit. But what we're really after here is this very healthy form of carbohydrate that helps to clean the lining of our digestive tract and lower our overall blood cholesterol. So we're gonna saute that in here. Now, you might be wondering, is this gonna taste like oatmeal? Is this something maybe I should be putting bananas and, and uh, uh, sort of milk over? But the, the difference in cooking it this way is it's going to taste very much like a brown rice. Uh, it's just a bit, little bit lower on the glycemic index. So we get a healthier carb, we get a little less uh, sugar going on in there. Um, and I, I should clarify that the carbohydrates turn into sugar in our body. Uh, and the oat groat is just a little bit less on the glycemic index than brown rice. So we have an alternative to that grain. Plus your gut flora really love it when you mix up any grains that you have. So you wanna be mixing up things, brown rice, wild rice, sprouted oat groat. We're gonna toss this in here. Okay, now once those onions look really yummy, it is time to go ahead and add in the greens. Now we're gonna use some kale. So we have a double cruciferous vegetable hit here, right? We have the broccoli and we have kale. Both have insanely well-researched cancer-fighting benefits. And here we go, we've just merged all the greens that we might try to normally enjoy as a salad into a nice, warm, nourishing bowl. There we go. Now you can see that this is a very quick moving dish, right? So if you have the time to make this in the morning, this is a really hearty, warm start to your breakfast that ensures that you've already ticked off your to-do list eating one serving of kale, one serving of broccoli, and a serving of spinach. And so what we're adding to season this is a salt that I love called Herba Mare. Now, you could use any salt that you like, any high quality salt. Obviously, you're avoiding any iodized salt. You don't want iodized table salt. You want a high quality Himalayan salt. But Urban Air has kelp in it and celery and onion powder, so it just gives it a nice little kick up. Uh, but it doesn't have any of the MSG, which is often hidden, along with gluten, in many, many of your pre made spices. Okay, now once your kale is brilliantly green and your spinach is good, I'm gonna turn that right off. I'm gonna transfer it into this bowl. Okay, and because the zucchini cooked quicker, we're gonna add that at the very last minute. The zucchini has some very powerful phytonutrients in it that are actually better served raw. 
And so when you add the zucchini, you're gonna get all that beneficial fiber and all the added nutrients and minerals from the zucchini, but you're gonna keep the core internal portion of that zucchini really nice and fresh and stable. So many of the phytonutrients that come from vegetables are not heat and processing stable, meaning they actually get destroyed. So if we can just lightly toss that, we know the zucchini nutrients are gonna stay nice and fresh for us. Okay, now once we know that the zucchini is warm through, which really only takes about 30 seconds or so, we can go ahead and transfer this into the bowl. But I would encourage you to add something that will really punch up the flavor. Now, you might wanna choose a fresh spice like basil or oregano is another good choice. Thyme is a great choice, especially in the winter. I like this with thyme. But I definitely prefer cilantro. Now, cilantro is one of the most detoxifying greens, cilantro and parsley. Um, and so if you give a little quick mince to so some fresh spice, some fresh herbs, and you toss that in at the last second here. There we go. That's gonna punch up the flavor massively. Perfect. And let's transfer this to a little bowl. Now, at the Sinema Wellness Center, which is located in Encinitas, California, we have a lot of surfers that come in in the morning, right? And we have gotten so many of them to get away from any sort of a sweet breakfast, which is a very American habit to have a very sweet breakfast. And they are loving the energy that they get. That's how this bowl got its name, the Green Energy Bowl. They're loving the energy that they get from having a savory vegetable filled meal that also has the grain, which keeps them full and energized for much, much longer. Now. That is gonna be good the way that it is, but let's put a little pretty cilantro on the top here. And then another option for this um, would be to add another healthy fat. For example, avocado is a great thing to add to the top of this dish. Hemp seeds is another great thing to sprinkle on top of this dish. Now, if you want an additional cheesy flavor, I highly recommend nutritional yeast. So you're gonna get that cheesy flavor, but you're not gonna have any of the additional sugars from the lactose in the dairy milk. So this is a nourishing, delicious way. I, I love it as breakfast, but the truth is, this is a great anytime bowl that will lift your energy, give you full servings of both kale, broccoli, and spinach, plus the zucchini, and the detoxifying power of greens such as cilantro or parsley. I hope you enjoy the Green Energy Bowl.